What's up guys, it's J-Rod, I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be installing the Yofer um, front lip spoiler on this uh, 2020 Honda Alex. So the other, the, the other splitter, she hit something else on the freeway again, and broke the whole thing. So I'm gonna be installing this, this other one, but just a heads up, when you have your car lowered and you have a front lip on it, you gotta be careful for stuff on the freeway, for driveways, for any stuff. You have to, you can't be driving that fast or else, you know, if you miss something in the road, you're gonna break it off quick and you don't wanna be spending money replacing it all the time. So, um, this one's gonna be a much nicer one. It's gonna be the, like a body kit spoiler. So, we've got the black one, so I'm gonna be installing that now. So after you finish cleaning it up good, you know, clean it good with some alcohol and stuff. And then you're gonna start. So this kit comes with the center one, the two side ones. And then it comes with this, uh, some push pins and some, a sticker, uh, double-sided tape, and then like the, some plastic that goes in between so the water won't go in. First, you're gonna start by taking off this pin right here, the push pin. You're gonna grab the part and you're gonna, you're gonna put it, just put it like that. And then after you'll see what's gonna happen right now. Once you push the push, put the push pin in there. So you put the push pin in just like that, just like that. It's just a test fit. So once you got that in there, you're gonna pick this up. And you're gonna look at it to see how it's gonna fit. So once you got it like that, you're gonna see the placement. Get it flush to the edge. And see how it's gonna fit. It looks like it's gonna fit good. See right there. That's how I do it. I do it like that. So after, when you put the push pin, you're gonna see that it actually bends like that. So just that one, this one's not gonna have nothing right here. Or once you got that, you already know how it's gonna fit. So you need to put the double-sided tape. So if I do with some push pins, this is the way it's supposed to go with the one push pin right there and then you just take off these other ones that are all along right here and then you 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 put them on to the lip but what i what i what i want to do is i'm not going to push put that one like that i'd rather have the the side the side um spoiler um, secured by a screw instead of that do that more uh, um, so that's how I'm gonna do it so once you got a test for there you're gonna just clean it real quick with some alcohol what you want to clean is right here at this edge and then all along the other side let's see you're gonna grab the double-sided tape and then you're just gonna make a when you put the tape you want to put it not too up high, but that's what I did. I made the mistake the first time. You're gonna put it a little bit lower, so when you, once you when you put this on, it goes in. Cause the last time I put it up too high, like up here, and when I wanted to put this other stuff, I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna do it a little bit lower, like probably like a quarter inch from the top. Just run the tape along that. Should be good enough. Less than a so you're gonna do like one long strand all the way across. Make sure it's on right. And just like so, I just make sure they're on them properly, like really in there. 
so I put two right there. Same thing to the inside, just like that. Make sure you press it on well. That should be good. So when you're ready to install, you're gonna put your push pin here and put your push pin on. Okay, once you got it on like that, it's just hanging, right? So you're gonna just fit it. Get the corner over here. So you make sure that this line is straight right here. And that's how you're gonna start. You're gonna push if you work with it. So this is where you're gonna guide yourself from. It's this line right here, so it could be straight. And then you're gonna work your way that way. Okay. Once you already see that. It's fitting okay. I'm gonna take off the, the tape. You could take these the ones over here off first. These these two. Take these off. And then um you're gonna do this one. You're gonna do this one. Alright, once you're ready to install, you're just gonna take this tape off from the top and then you're gonna fit it to where you want it. I'm gonna fit mine right to the edge like that. Just stick it on there like that. Perfectly flush right here. And then just pull this tape off. Make sure it's exactly where you want to have it. Okay, so now that I already have that corner. Over here, it looks like it's not gonna fit how I want it to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim a little bit off this right here, this little corner. Once you got that exactly how you want it, it looks good right there, flush to the top. Press for me right there. You could even move it up a little bit. So this is what I was saying right here. So the reason I'm not gonna put the push pin is that I'm gonna secure this piece with the screw. On this piece, I'm gonna hold it up and then put the screw underneath. Right here. So I put a screw right there where the push pin's supposed to go in. The reason being is because I want it to be exactly how I want it here, up firmly. I'm more worried about these pieces 
then I am the middle part. So that's how it's gonna look. It's already in there. All right, I got it like I want it. Nice and flush up here. I did a little cut right here in the plastic and everything looks good. Has a little space right here, which where I'm gonna put the, that seal on it, this seal. So everything looks good, it's straight. So after you put that one side and put the screw up here, move on to the next side and put the middle last. Okay, so we're doing on the right side. So I'll place the push pin in first. And then after you're gonna get it, we're gonna do the placement first to check how it's gonna fit. Make it flat flush from the back. And then look how it's gonna fit over here. It looks it looks good right there. The other one I did have to tweak it a little bit and cut a little piece right here. This one? This one looks perfect. It's flush all the way to the top up here. And uh, everything looks good on this side. So just take off the tape and then put it on. So you got the two corner pieces already and now you're gonna put the middle one. For the middle one, you're gonna remove four, four push pins, one right there, one right there, right there, and there. That's it. Okay, you put the pins in there, and that's how it's gonna look right there in the front. So just, I put them through the top. I seen some other guy put them in through the, the inside, but I tried it right now, and it looked like it was not even up here. So, it looked like it was, it was like, not gonna be flush with this piece right here so i put them to the outside and that way if it breaks or anything happens this uh, just this whole thing is just gonna break off so it's fine with that we all scraped it so once you put those you're gonna put some screws you're gonna put screws right here the little crevices right here you're gonna put one two three and then I also want to add some extra screws myself right here, one in the corner to hold it up. Because since I didn't use a push pin right here, I used it for this corner piece. I'm going to put a screw right here, probably two of them just to hold it nice and flush to the top. And that should be it. So the other extra screw I'm going to put is, um, if you look at it right here, it looks like it has a little bit of play. So I'm going to put it underneath here right right here so it could so it could be like perfect right here okay i'm happy with that already so i put the one screw in the corner right there and these screws that it came with all these screws that came with so you have plenty of screws you have perfect amount of screws to um, complete the project. So this is the one right there. So that's how it looks from the bottom. So I think it's two, four, six, seven. All right, so the last thing to do is, um, is just to put the little rubber seal on it. And that's it when we're done can't really see that good because of the light but i'll show you at the end so this rubber seal is just had like double-sided tape also on this side but what i'm looking at i think i'm gonna put it like this with the tape facing this way because if you do it this way well, it looks like it's not gonna fit right so i'm just gonna start by taking off the, the tape put, pulling it out a little bit so it's coming along i still had to use the this try tool just to pick it up a little bit and get it a little bit easier even that even that i put the tape away from the corner it's still hard to to put it in 
so this is kind of sucks. So it looks like this is like the hardest part right here. Let me just start getting like over here. Get it, it's a little bit easier because there's more space. Nice. So on this one, I kind of messed up on that side because I started from the on the wheel side so it's better to start start from this side that way um, you cut the end of the other one out so just pull it push it down get all the way to the corner it's done So now I'm just gonna drop it and see how it looks on the ground. So it looks good, but I think it would look better if it was the color of the car, at least to the side corners. Um, the black kind of throws it off a little bit. I think the front lip splitter looks better than the yoker on this car. Maybe in the future, I'll try to get those uh, side corners painted to the color of the car and make it look, make it look better. Uh, that's it. Front you know, for front end, front lip is done. Came out good. that's gonna be the end of the video thanks for watching subscribe like and share peace out